So keep that in mind here. Now, not too long ago, in fact, two years ago, there was this story that came on out on how a drum containing radioactive waste blew up at this underground nuclear dump in New Mexico. And a lid was thrown over this whole thing. No big deal. As we'll handle it. It's turned out that this blast has caused massive, long-term, possibly permanent damage to the dump, which is a facility crucial to the nuclear weapons cleanup program that literally spans the nation. They're trying to clean up this mess from uh, all this hastily built nuclear weapons, and they just dumped the waste anywhere that they could. But right now, this explosion in this New Mexico facility two years ago now ranks among the costliest nuclear accidents in U.S. history. The long-term cost could co top $2 billion, and we still don't know how much radioactivity leaked out of this. So... Everybody's in denial. Nobody gives a shit about it. Because well, they're a bunch of pond scum. And so, those are the people that built WIP. Well, let's talk about WIP. So, Los Angeles Times has broke ranks. Somebody has broke ranks. Oh, is the Los Angeles Times opinion page in big, big trouble? Oh, are they in big... They reported about WIP. I thought WIP never happened. I'm the guy that reported it from the water school business inside the people that built WIP. They're like, oh, it never happened, never happened, never happened. Everybody is in denial about WIP. So we're going to bring the waste, the mox fuel, the Savannah River. Remember, it was going to save it. Reva, the bankrupt company, you know, them rats. And remember when the contract on America, remember when Gingrich took the Congress and uh, delay, money launderer, hairspray delay. And how about the other guy that ran the show? Dennis Haster, the convicted raper, the pedophile, yeah, who, who raped high school. I mean, whoa, these were your moral majority. They took, remember they got it through Congress? The Mox Fuel, Reva, we're going to send it to France, we're going to send it to Japan, and number three, full of Mox Fuel, save the nuclear industry. We have Reva education. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Remember that lie? The Department of Energy is throwing up their hands and says, we cannot Mox any of it. So the billions and billions we sent, Obama signed an executive order giving Savannah River more money. When they've already come up and says, we, we have no, there is no Mox Fuel. It was a fallacy, it was a lie the whole time. We're shipping it right now today to New Mexico, to Carlsbad. What? I thought Carlsbad, I thought Whip blew up. Remember they lied, said it was a salt truck, and I kept saying they're lying, they're lying, they're lying, they're lying. The day that it happened, I was at Diablo Canyon with Mothers for Peace protesting. At, that was their hearing. Me and Jane from Mother Peace were the only two there. You know, Blue Hearts on Valentine's Day, remember that? So I get home and I said, they're lying, lying, it's not a salt truck, they're lying, they're lying. Then we pick up in radiation to dishes, you know, in El Paso, there's plutonium in the dish. So now the LA Times are reporting $2 billion clean up. Yeah, nuclear energy is real clean, and it's just low-level gloves. Yeah, plutonium makes low-level gloves. Ha! L.A. Times in big, big trouble. You can't talk about, you know, the two billion cleanup at WIP. Shh, shh, shh. It blew up on June 14, 2011, as I reported. I have all the video proof. I have all the proof. It blew up in July of 2013. Again, I have video proof. It blew up in May 20th of 2014. I have the video proof. Over and over and over, it could be blowing up, so the mox fuel came over. So they guided, guarded ships. Don't you love how they use English freaking ships to bring it back? Through North Carolina, South Carolina, through Savannah River, and says we are already trucking it to New Mexico. What? The Los Alamos? We're putting it in whip. Whip's closed. They're at $2 billion, real clean. What, what, what are they up to? What are these mad? So the container that blew up was made right over here by Peterson's. I know them all. I grew up with them all. I live right by there. Just lie, lie. They told me straight up they already have the freaking contract. They got the contract a year ago to start making the stainless steel containers for the new, for the waste coming in on Mox River before it was even announced that they were doing it. That's illegal. There's corruption again. More corruption. More corruption. Awarding contracts before it's even announced. They sneak it through. You know, it's betrayal. It's, it's I lost my whole academic career here. The rats are evil. They're scum.